Hey y'all, this Willie Bill. My hat's crooked. This is a very nice warm hat, by the way. I know it's very like Elmer Fudd looking, um, but I don't know how much I care. It's got nice ear flaps. And it's all furry. And it is what it is. Okay. So, today's review. We have what's here. This is called crampons. C-R-A-M-P-O-N-S. Crampons. Uh, these ones is from a company called Black Diamond. I'll see if I can look up the model name. Um, these are my crampons. I do use them. Uh, this one specifically is meant to be like a little bit lighter weight one and it's used for, for hiking. Uh, not It's not used for technical climbing. So there's people that's ice climbers and what they do is they go like straight up. Ching ching, they like climb up waterfalls and stuff. This is not the uh, tool for that. Uh, one of the big differences would be that these front spikes if you look at the way that that's shaped, you see how these go down? If these were meant for technical ice climbing, they would just come straight out because you'd be kicking into, kicking into ice and then climbing up that way. These ones is, is going down and, and they're just meant for hiking. So hiking on ice, hiking on snow, and they work really well for that. So. The details of these things, they attach to your boot with a strap system. Now this heel piece will come up like that. And what you'll do is you'll slide your boot in through here. So let me show you. There's a boot. This is left. I need the right one. In this case, I mean right like actual right, not just correct, which the right one is the correct one for this right boot. So, get that out of the way. See if we can get some space here. Do, do, do. This would slide in. see come on baby there we go I'm gonna say I think I had these adjusted because I've used them with these boots before get this strap straightened out maybe tuck these last laces away for now and then this going to get turned in Pull on this strap here. So what's going on there? Come on, pull tight. Pull tight. What I'm doing here is pulling on this, whoops, on this strap. Why is that, is that like stuck? That needs to get pulled more tightly. Boom, boom, pull. There we go. Okay. So now I got the cramp on, on the boot. You can see how that works. So this ain't for your hands. This ain't for your elbows. Cramp on goes on the bottom of your shoe and it's gonna give you traction when you're walking on ice and snow. Uh, like I said, this one is not for technical, whoops, that ain't sitting down the way it's supposed to. Well, it's a little hard to demonstrate because it's not on my foot. And the way I do these reviews, what are you eating, dog? It's not really very practical to, uh, to stand on a table and wear this for you. So, uh. This, there shouldn't be a space here. This would be down flat. And then you tighten this all up. Like I was saying, ain't for your hands, ain't for your elbows. It's for your boot. 
and you're going to walk on ice. You don't want to walk on just rocks or pavement. I guess you could walk on grass with this. You can use it to aerate your lawn. A little bit strange, but it could be done. And what these are going to do is these spikes, see what happened is instead of your weight being distributed across the whole bottom of your shoe, it ends up getting distributed just on these small points. So on this one, we've got one, two, three, four, we've got eight points that are going to be contacting the ground. And then this one is more or less, it's only going to touch when you're like either trying to step up something or maybe walking down something really steep. But you got to be careful of because you catch that and you go flip and you're going to have a bad day. So you walk pretty, pretty flat on a crampon. And instead of your weight being distributed across however many square inches the bottom of the shoe would be, it's being distributed across eight very small points. Which means there's a lot more pressure. Under pressure like the Queen Song. More pressure which is then going to allow you to get more traction. These are going to bite in and, and, and hopefully stick and it's going to keep you from sliding. Hey! You gotta watch these dogs. Dogs is always eating stuff they're not supposed to. And then you're catching them puking in the middle of the night with God knows what's coming out of them. So, as I was explaining, it's going to give you a lot more traction. You don't want to wear these in a shop mall. You don't want to wear these driving your car. It's very strange. You probably ruin your accelerator pedal. Maybe self-driving car. You get in the back seat of a Tesla with some crampons on, you could do that. Otherwise, I wouldn't recommend it. Get them back off. You're just going to release that strap. Get yourself some slack. Pop your shoe out. And you're back to walking like a normal person. Uh, these things will collapse a bit. It's pretty nice. You can pack them up, get them in your bag, and just use them to bail yourself out if you end up in a weird situation where you need some traction. Now I'll say I haven't done a whole lot of snow hiking uh, as much as I'd like to do, um, but this seems to be the right tool for it. There's things like uh, yak tracks, things like uh, um, micro spikes, Catula, I think makes those. Uh, those micro spikes are tremendous, uh, but they'll move around on your shoes. So sometimes you need something like this. It's going to be better for more technical. So black diamond, hiking, cramp on. Don't wear them in your car. Don't ruin your hardwood floors. Keep yourself from falling on some ice and you should be good to go. All right, y'all. Make sure you subscribe, like. We'll see you in a week. Be safe out there. Go get yourself some vitamin D. Get outside. Take care, y'all.